Oh, that's absolutely. Right. It's the end of days if people don't read Shakespeare anymore. Um, and I, you know, I, I remember how difficult it was to access as a young person. Um, but I think it's the thing that's really worth persevering with. Yes, it is really just God. We might as well all go and throw ourselves in the bin if we don't read Shakespeare anymore. I think my favourite Shakespeare play is probably Macbeth, um, possibly because I did it for O level and it's completely sort of stuck in my head, um, and possibly because I find its uh, themes, its very uncompromising themes, um, the most appealing. And also, I like like is the wrong word, but I'm remain fascinated, whatever. Thirty years later, after doing it for O level by uh, by Lady Macbeth. Well, actually, the one that I read from this evening, I Captured the Castle by Jodie Smith, along with The Pursuit of Love by Nancy Mitford, were um, were my two favourite books. They became almost sort of comfort reading. They were the books that I read again and again and again, and I continue to read again and again. And I don't know about changing my world view particularly, because they're not, you know, they're not uh, political books and their themes seem small. Um, but in terms of family and relationships and the nature of love, um, they were, yes, quite formative. Um, I read really widely without wanting to sound like too much of an ass. So, for example, I've just um, spent a very pleasurable three months fully immersed in George R. R. Martin's um, uh, Game of Thrones series, which is the opposite of the kind of thing I normally read. Um, and I, I like, you know, I like books. I think if you like books, you like everybody. The one that I, the, the proper book, as it were, that I've read most recently is Capital by John Lanchester, which I completely adored. I think it's difficult if you're a woman writer. Um, I, I, I have enormous difficulty with the term uh, chick lit. Well, I don't have any difficulty with the term existing. I have difficulty with the fact that it basically means successful commercial fiction that women might like and that somehow it needs a little belittling um, appellation, you know, to make it kind of, to put it in its box. Um, see also sort of books with pink jackets. I think there's really, there's good writing and there's bad writing and all good writing is great and... All bad writing is a shame. I think, you know, categorising stuff and pigeonholing it is not helpful. I'm delivering my next novel in 10 days' time, and I'm currently in sort of essay crisis mode with black coffee up until five o'clock at night trying to finish it. So I find discipline very, very hard, and I find everything incredibly distracting. But it's fine, it works, because I think some people write an exquisite 500 words a day, and some people write in giant, huge bursts that make their hair go grey, and it's all right in the end. Yes, but I'm a journalist, you see, so I like a super tight deadline. Somebody's saying have a generous 18 months. I just think, well, cool, I'll go on holiday and like watch daytime TV and, you know, mill about. And then there's a few months to go and it's sort of... But it'll be fine.